Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to some more Civil War II. We are going to go ahead and do our best to secure victory for the Confederacy. But to be honest with you, this is a tough start, and I'm hoping we're going to be getting some reinforcements pretty soon. So one thing I've done already is I'm trying to move one of our forces back over here um, into this area. It's a bit safer over here in Fauquier, Virginia. It's a very strange name. And I want to keep attacking into Washington, D.C., but I'm assuming that that's probably not a great idea. In fact, we should have probably been a little more defensive here. So I'm going to try to move back to Fredericktown and see if I can take that. It would be pretty cool if I could run up to Gettysburg and take that area. But to be honest, at this point in the war, I think it's important for us to basically just be as careful as possible, uh, hold the areas we still have, and try to push on the locations like uh, Taylor, West Virginia, that we could possibly take and uh, and make use of. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to move up to Union, PA. And we've also got some forces here in the west, of course, that we are trying to get into battle. Uh, but it's going to take a while for them to actually move over here into an area where they can be useful. So for now, we can just uh, deal with that. And hopefully we'll be getting some more reinforcements pretty soon. We already have some uh, Texan armies being built here. I'm going to try to get them to the front lines over here in the northeast but I think it's going to take a while. So let's go ahead and send one of them forward. Nine to three days. And we're going to go ahead and move by rail, of course. This guy's staying right here. And I want to make sure that this guy is only going to go here. I want these guys to actually join up, if possible. Move by rail, 12 days. And rail service is not perfect right now, to be honest with you. 16 days. One day. Hopefully we can escape really quickly there. And I'm going to take a quick look at the different possibilities of uh, political actions we can do here. Counterintelligence, martial law. No, we don't want that. Developed territory. Uh, Subsidize entrepreneurs in underdeveloped areas in an effort to increase uh, loyalty. Well, we can worry about that later. Drafting is something I'm very interested in, and I definitely want to draft right here. Uh, we just got here with one of our uh, generals, obviously, so I think that's probably pretty useful. And let's try to draft in these cities that we control. If I can, if not, I'll go a little farther south to draft. Boys, join the Confederacy. I hope so, anyway. And this is Fort Monroe. It's not Fort Sumter. Alright, that's pretty much acceptable for now. And we'll draft a unit over here as well. Uh, let's take a look. Open trail. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about open trail. Roads may be useful. And telegraphs would definitely be useful. Organized expansion of our telegraph network in order to improve the development of the region. Yeah, why the hell not? Um, we probably want one leading back to our capital of Richmond, but... Uh, beggars can't be choosers, so we'll drop one here. Plundering would be fun, but we need to actually be in Northern Territory to start plundering. And I'm not sure if we're able to. Now, we could order requisitions and actually get some money uh, and supplies from the people, but I think for now, we're just going to play it pretty cool. Try to get some of that light infantry back. Take a look here. Increase the river pool. Not interesting. Not interested in that. But I do want to print some money. Uh, it's going to greatly increase the amount of money we have. But of course, it's going to increase inflation. Um, we don't want to move the capital to Atlanta. That's in Georgia. There's no need for that. And issuing war bonds to support the war effort. Probably a decent idea. Let's go ahead and issue some war bonds as well. We don't want to do this too much though. And I don't know if I want to declare a complete cotton embargo. Foreign intervention. No, that's going to increase possible foreign intervention. But I'm not sure if it's a great idea. I'm going to let you guys decide. Um, although, at the same time, hopefully it will increase foreign intervention on our side against the enemy. In which case, I might go ahead and accept a fight. As you can see, we still have Great Britain, France, and Mexico who could potentially join this conflict. Uh, will they? I don't know. We're going to have to actually see. We're just going up here in the north. And the British, of course, in Canada. Oh, dear. Well, for now, we're not going to worry about it too much. We are going to end the turn and see what happens here uh, at the end of this particular turn. And hopefully it's going to be something good. Southeast California. We could actually move into Arizona. No, those are the damn Yankees. I'm just going to take a look around the west here. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we're able to get any of these guys uh, to be of any use. Although we could start moving this cavalry into this area. And I'm going to take this general 
and of course plunder the enemy territory back here. Try to cut off some of their rail lines and cause mass chaos here. Mexico, Montana. That's an interesting location. And I'm going to try to get into Quincy here. It's going to take 24 days. Let's end the turn and hope for the best. Fight with honor, man. Wow, nice little battle there, guys, in Morgantown, and it looks like a victory despite the small amount of men lost on the enemy side. Victory is a victory. Uh, we're not going to be so lucky here, and it looks like the enemy attacked us in Fredericksburg and hit us pretty hard here. Confederate victory in Vienna, Montana. Confederate victory in New Madrid. So we're getting a few victories here, more than a few. And I think we're going to be doing all right, to be honest with you. So pretty cool. Um, let's take a look over here and see how our, ba our generals fared. I'm loving this. So as you can see over here, Falkier's force is actually doing really, really well. I'm going to see if I could separate Stonewall Brigade and create uh, two separate armies here. And hopefully, yes, that's not bad at all. Although I would love to get even more men into this army. Uh, let's go ahead and take Stonewall Brigade. actually tempted to go ahead and destroy their depot, but this is in our land, so let's not do that. Let's go ahead and try and attack Fairfax, Virginia. This would be a devastating loss for the enemy, and I'm going to send another unit into Shenandoah, Virginia. Fallmouth, essentially. And we're also sending the Army of the Potomac, left by led by Beauregard, into Fredericksburg. Uh, and this is something I'm hoping is really going to move the war in our favor. Of course, most of the war is taking place in the east here, but it doesn't have to continue that way for much longer. All right, 49 days. Oh, dear. 58. It takes us longer to get there by train? Well, I'll be damned. All right. Well, I guess we got to accept it. Um, let's see. We've also got another army over here moving in. And slowly but surely, we're unlocking some more units out here. I do want to get to the area where we got all of those reinforcements. And I'm not sure if they're unlocked, are they? They should be. Holy crap, they are unlocked, but this is a scary situation. I'm going to merge these guys together. 35% penalty, that's not good. But at this point, it's, I'm desperate to get into this area. Or at least into Manassas. But I don't like the fact that we're going to probably lose some men here. I will merge these guys together. And as you can see, we're starting to get some actual generals here, guys. This is a bonus for sure. But as you can see, Robert E. Lee, for instance, a lot of them are still locked. And cannot yet be used. I say cannot be used. Uh, but we will come back and hopefully we'll be able to use them next time, guys. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this so far. Um, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and we shall keep this series going. Glory to the Great South.